So he was comforted, and the next day drew up his army in order of battle at the sea front. Archers and slingers in the front, then the auxiliary Germans armed with assegais, then the main Roman forces with the French in the rear. The cavalry were on the wings, and the siege engines, mangonels, and catapults planted on sand dunes. Nobody knew what on earth was going to happen. He rode far into the sea as far as his horse's knees and cried, Neptune, old enemy, defend yourself. I challenge you to a mortal fight. You treacherously wreck my father's fleet, do you? Try your might on me if you dare. Then he quoted from Ajax's wrestling match with Ulysses in Homer, Or let me lift thee, chief, or you with me. A little wave came rolling past. He cut at it with his sword and laughed contemptuously. Then he retired and coolly ordered a general engagement to be fought. This is the most well-known telling of the Emperor Caligula's war on the sea god Neptune. However, this telling does not come from ancient historians, but rather from the historical fiction novel I, Claudius, written by Robert Graves in 1934. It's a passage whose impact has been so great that it has entered the popular consciousness and even confused the minds of some professional historians. So, did Caligula actually declare war on Neptune, god of the sea? As you likely can tell from the overall length of this video, the answer is no, probably not. So far as I've been able to research, the idea of an actual war comes from I. Claudius. Nevertheless, there is some basis to this in historical records. Not that there's much of it, anyway. At best, we have the writings of Cassius Dio, a Roman senator and historian, and he tells us that Caligula had spent the treasury, and was essentially broke. So, to get more funds, he led an army to the Rhine with the intention of looting northern Gaul and some of Germania, but when he reached the Rhine, he ordered his army to turn around. Some Gallo-Romans were put to death on charges of a rebellion, others brought him their wealth, and some of it he just took. He then went to the Channel Coast. This is where professionals are not certain about what happened. It's very possible that an invasion of Britain had been planned and was cancelled, but it's also possible that the invasion was not cancelled and that the troops were wary of boarding ships. We really don't know. Suetonius tells us that all of the troops and all of their equipment was set up on the beach and that Caligula then ordered them to collect seashells, filling up their bags and helmets with the spoils of the ocean. This is the closest we actually get in the ancient sources to what has now become a historical meme, Stab the Water. The best biography of Caligula, written in 2015, asserts that this was done as a gesture of humiliation because the troops did not want to cross the channel. That's certainly possible, while other sources have suggested that Caligula was just insane, and that he would do this, and nobody in Rome would dare cross him, and that's certainly a characteristic he may have had, but that's another video. There is, however, one other idea. The Latin word for seashells can also mean military hut. So some historians of ancient Rome, such as Mary Beard, have suggested that the order was actually given, that there was actually a camp on the beach, but that it's a misunderstanding on both the part of Suetonius and on ours. The troops were ordered to dismantle the camp since the invasion was not happening and not to pick up seashells. If that is the case, it's not all that surprising that what made it into Suetonius' writings made it in in the fashion that they did, since he was not necessarily writing strict history and more satirical forms of literature. In Roman history, if an emperor was assassinated, their memory was usually damned, so it's entirely possible that Caligula became a monster and a lunatic because he was killed. Not that this necessarily removes any grains of truth to actual real-life madness you may have had, but this is something we do need to be aware of with this question, and telling his soldiers to pick up the seashells to defeat Neptune and carry the loot back to Rome is certainly something an insane ruler might order. After this happens, though, the troops were apparently given 100 denarii each and sent on their way. In which case, it's been suggested that this was maybe a morale-boosting exercise to keep the soldiers on his side after a failed campaign. So that's about the gist of it. As I said earlier, we just don't have that much information. Something did indeed happen on the Channel Coast of France, but declaring war on the sea, although a fun story, wasn't it.